Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia and another episode of Show and Tell where today I am going to share with you my Philip Co DVD collection. But no, not every DVD that I have of Philip Co Fay. In fact, this is a collection of six movies from a German label uh, known as the Philip Co Collection. Anyway, let's get started. So here we have six DVDs um, of the Philip Co Collection. Now, in fact, you will see that the first two here are both Fatal Chase and I was able to buy them both because, well I, I was able to buy them both because they were quite cheap but also because they had different artwork and I preferred the second one that I bought to the first. Um, that said, if that was taken away as one that leaves me with five movies of the six DVD collection. Now. When I picked up Eastern Heroes just before Christmas, I kind of got excited. I thought, yes, I've finally gotten the whole collection. And then I spent about two hours going through my whole collection looking for number three in the in the set. Um, now, I went through my collection repeatedly and I could not find number three. And I thought I was for sure, like, I've got this movie. It's here somewhere. I have many other German DVDs of Philip Coe movies, like, um, Ultra Cop 2000 and Techno Warriors and so many other other bits and bobs around here that none of them were, were stamped with this you can see here it says the Philip Coe collection not all of them are but the majority of them do have a number somewhere on there and I could not find it for two hours was looking all through my collection anyway finally went on to Google searched it to see what the title was um, but no, there was nothing came up. It was like number three was non-existent. And then I eventually found a, a film blog where everyone was asking the same question. Where the fuck is number three of the Philip Co collection? And uh, <laughs> apparently it's just never been released. Um, they, they did one and two, four, five, six, skipped three and apparently had claimed that they were waiting on a better a better master copy to release. Um, but I would say I've had these now over a good year, possibly two years with the majority of them. So they have been out a wee while and there is still no sign of the Philip Co Collection number three uh, DVD. So we're, we we're still have no idea where that is. So I guess I'm not making, I'm not sharing with you an incomplete collection as such. I'm going to make this video and ask, does anyone have a clue where number three is, what number three is? And if you have it, can I have it? <laughs> anyway, let's get into these. Okay, the first one on the Philip Co collection is the fun Fatal Chase. So a 1992 production directed by Philip Co Fay. Now a lot of these movies, this is the weird thing about this collection. You know, if I was to release a Philip Co Fay collection, I would release specifically ones that he had directed and and was starring in, which he had done uh, for a lot of his movies. Some of these he's maybe just the producer, he maybe just has a cameo in, um, and the odd one he directs. So here we are. So yes, this was the first one that came out. As you can see, it's stamped with the Philip Co collection number one. Um, recently there, just before Christmas, I noticed that this was on there on Amazon Germany for like four quid or something. But I really love the cover, much more um, of a Hong Kong style artwork cover than this was. All right, on the back, they're both very, very similar. Probably just a change in contrast there. But yes, directed by Philip Ko Fay, starring Yukari Oshima, uh, Philip Ko himself, Robin Shu, Wei Li, Dion Lam, uh, Xing Fuon is also in there. Um, and Dion Lam looks after the action. This is him just here. It's a fun movie. It's not perfect by any any means. It's not the greatest Hong Kong movie ever made, but it is a lot of fun. Um, now, these are released by Vision Video, which you can see down here. And to be honest, I don't think they really had a clue what they were doing, if I'm being on, honest. Now, you haven't got a double cover. Uh, in this one and in a lot of them and the only difference is you can really flip this round and not have it as part of the Philip Co collection because the only thing missing is that 
um, little sticker that says Philip Co Collection number one. I'm determined to find this number three though and have a complete collection. And I'm I'm kind of hoping, part of me is hoping that they, they do re-release a few more of these um, with this art style cover. Now there's no, there's no double cover in this one. Um, but again, it, it just kind of, just kind of looks like a more fun movie. None of them have anything um, different about the actual release. They uh, give you a trailer as a special feature and they're only available in German language without English subtitles, which is kind of the only downfall for it. But for a few quid, yeah. The DVD quality itself is just okay. I mean, it's watchable, but it's really, really nothing special. Anyway, Number two on the list is one that I've been dying to see for a long time. Um, obviously, Conan Lee was, back then, with Ninja and the Dragon's Den and whatnot, the next big thing. Um, but then he wasn't. Uh, so there's always a movie that I was dying to see of his called Fury and Red. And this is it. Released in Germany as Eastern Heroes. Number two on the Philip Coe collection. Although it doesn't have its... Um, sticker this is a later release much like the second copy of fatal chase again the artwork there says it all it's a fantastic looking film this is a cracker poster uh 1991 production fury and red uh produced by philip kofi this time uh stars conan lee in more of an extended bit part i would say um i guess he was kind of on his way out of hong kong cinema uh, so it was more of an extended part. Uh, Robin Show, the great Robin Show, uh, Chinese American actor George Chung and brick kicker Mark Houghton and Vincent Lin also pop up in there. Now, very much like uh, Fatal Chase, the DVD quality is just okay. Um, and it only gives you the option of German language with no English subtitles um, and a trailer as an extra feature. Just double check and there's no double cover. And then your disc is very much the same artwork. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I mean, look, they're not amazing movies. They're not very well presented, to be honest. Um, but they get better. <laughs> so, part three. Where the fuck is part three? Help me find part three of this Philip Co collection. Please, it's driving me mad. Um, why they managed to release four, five, and six is beyond me without... <laughs> <laughs> doing part three doesn't even make sense and even when i google vision video german dvd label um it just brings me up a bunch of uh, websites for christian dvd labels and and uh, distribution companies anyway number four on the list is magnificent seven kung fu kids uh from 1989 this is also known as lucky seven part two it is the sequel to one of my all-time favourite uh, childhood movies called Lucky Seven. Uh, I'm sure many of you have seen it. This one isn't as much fun, I don't think, to be honest. It's not as much fun. And here on the back cover, before I forget, they have put in clips of Sharon Young Pan Pan from Godfrey Ho's Angel Enforcers. These do not happen in this movie. The majority of what goes on in this movie is here on the front cover, which of course has the amazing Yukari Ashim in there. But um, yeah, now the good thing with this movie is that it comes with uh, the German language option and the English language option. Hooray! So we have the Philip Coe sticker here on one side of the cover and on the other side, none. So it's directed by Chao Chen Ko, who directed the original movie. But as I say, it's just not as not as much fun. And with this one, uh, Philip Ko stars in it, alongside Yukari Oshima, of course, and Chu Ying Hong, who you would recognize from a lot of Taiwanese cinema. The DVD quality is fair to OK. Um, there's a couple of extra features on there. And in fact, it's probably one of the releases that has the more extra features, I would say. Um, but yeah, it has, uh, as I say, your English language option, which is a bonus. Uh, it has an alternate opening in very bad quality. And it also has a bonus film called Little Kickboxer, uh, which is also known as Korean Boy. Um, 
It's a 1991 South Korean kind of uh, Taekwondo flick, adventure flick, I suppose. Um, more widely known uh, as Thunder Ninja Kids Little Kickboxer, part of the Thunder Ninja Kids range that was released um, many moons ago. Uh, and then it also has Thomas Tang uh, linked as a producer with Godfrey Ho listed as the director of Little Kickboxer. But of course, as Korean, uh, Korean boy there would be um, obviously a, a Korean director South Korean director behind it overall but yeah Magnificent Seven Kung Fu Kids it's great fun uh, as I say it doesn't have that same comedy and energy and excitement as Lucky Seven does but uh, it's still a lot of fun and still a movie that I really wanted to get my hands on I'm just glad that there was an English dub with it overall okay number five one of my all-time favorites probably my favorite of this whole set um i'm really surprised that they slipped this in there because um yeah this i it's an it it's a classic and one of my all-time favorites magic crystal starring uh andy lau cynthia rothrock and richard norton and a host of others uh look at this gorgeous cover so just love it so this is number five in the collection um Again, much like the, the previous one, comes with German and English language options. So this is directed by Wong Jing in 1986. Um, and this time only stars Philip Ko. As I was saying, it, there's not all of them are directing and producing yourself. This one stars Philip Ko. He does get a, a great kind of um, extended cameo and, and fight in there. So uh, you got Andy Lau, Cynthia Rothrock, Richard Norton, Philip Ko, Wong Jing, and the wacky Nat Chan, who has a cracker scene where his the alien rock, um, <laughs> the magic crystal, changes his feet with his hands. It's fucking hilarious. Well, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> um, so this quality of this one is definitely the best of them all. And you have got a trailer as an extra as well as the reversible cover so again you've got the philip co symbol up here and then on the inside if you don't really want to have that you've got this um on a side note though um french label spectrum films have just released this on blu-ray which i'm kind of very very tempted to get uh, because it is one of my favorite hong kong movies and i think one of Rothrock and Norton's best team ups, to be honest. Um, but yes, Spectrum Films on Blu ray uh, does not have English subtitles, of course, but to see it in high definition, unless it it or Eureka want to grab their hands on it and get it out there for us, that would be amazing. Boom. Okay, final one in the collection Philco Collection number six The Fighting Connection. Here we have The Fighting Connection, also known as Hard to Kill, also known as Interpol Connection. <laughs> 1992 production, directed, produced, and starring Phil Cofey. So they've, they've kind of saved that, that big one that he's a part of for last. Oh my goodness. Okay, so also in there you have got Yukari Ashima and Robin Show, of course, who are quite prominent on the cover not a bad movie again uh, and i think it's another one of his philippines productions it's good fun uh, very much like um fatal chase uh, the action has its moments you know there's not a huge uh, production value with it but it is it does pass the time that it's good fun the problem is the quality is like a bootleg vhs at times well uh, um, it is like a bootleg VHS for the most part, uh, but it does have German and English language options. It offers an alternate opening, a US trailer, a random six minute scene um, in Cantonese with English subs, the burnt in English subs, uh, which I find was quite an odd selection uh, or selected scene, sorry, I should say to have. Um, but yeah, very much so. And then there's also, which is even weirder, an alternate widescreen copy of the movie, um, which looks better than the print that they've released, um, but it's only in German language, which is unfortunate. It does look better, as I say. Um, so if you've already watched the movie in English, you can go back and watch it better in widescreen. Um, 
apart from Magic Crystal, I would say the rest of the movies are cropped. They're brought brought in quite a bit there, um, just to lift that widescreen from it, which is fucking stupid because you're losing some of the some of the scenes. You're losing what are, what's going on on the sides, of course. Um, and you know what? It for a few quid each. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing here that was over a tenner, to be honest. Um, and it's just a nice wee collection to have. These are movies that really aren't out there anymore. They're hard to get. You may find them on YouTube, you know, but I think just to be able to have them as a as a collection for a low price is worth it. I just wish they would release number three or someone can find it for me. That would be just delightful. But yes, Magic Crystal is definitely worth it by all means. It has the uh, the same English dub on it as I do have on uh, VHS there, which I should have gotten out to show you. I don't have any of the other movies on VHS, but I do have Magic Crystal on VHS. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that kind of entices you to go and find them if you have a few extra quid to spend. Um, I don't know what I'm going to show until for next time, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh, I do know actually. I am waiting on the last DVD of the German released Born to Fight collection, um, which starts with Cynthia Rothrock's Blonde Fury, uh, Lady Reporter, uh, and then goes into a rake of movies with Yukari Oshima and Cynthia Khan. Okay, that's good. Until then, enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon. Thank you.